Right, here we are. Yes. No branding. Okay, uh, we'll kick off with Sky. It's all in, so there's no separate written one today. So we'll kick off with, if you, if you raise your hand, I'll come to you as best we can, okay? So we'll start off with Kirsty. When you go. Hi, Eli. Hi. How are you? Um, we are first home game in the Champions League. Um, a huge uh, occasion. What will your message be to your players heading into to such a big night for the club? Good afternoon. Uh, my idea is try to to get something like a natural. Hopefully, we can play more time in Champions League. But of course, it's the first match after a long time, or maybe when it's a new competition, Champions League before it was Cup of Europe. And uh, we are uh, motivated and we are so excited to play tomorrow with our supporters in Villa Park. This is scenario, this match, remembering as well the final in the <laughs> Cup de Europe played against them 42 years ago. But uh, now, in this moment, in our process, we have to try to play one match more. And of course, it's against one of the best teams in the world and maybe uh, favorite with another three, four teams to, to, to win this competition. But uh, I want to play matches like that and I want to play consistency matches, matches like that. Of course, we are in Premier League and in Premier League we are facing teams like them, favorite uh, Manchester City, Liverpool, uh, Arsenal, I think, they, they can win this competition this year and they, they can be favourite with, uh, with another team like, like Bayern Munich. But uh, playing in Europe, of course, uh, we are very, very happy to, to face uh, uh, Bayern Munich here at home and hopefully we can enjoy tomorrow uh, or hopefully we can compete and to show our best to mobilize them. Um, Harry Kane has been training with them, so it looks like good news on that front for Bayern. In terms of your team news, not so good news. You're without your captain, John McGinn. How big a blow for, for such a huge game for you and, and the club and for him as well. The injured players, I know, is the worst for them at the beginning. And with these circumstances playing in Champions League, of course, every player they want to, to play matches like that. But uh, we had to accept it. And uh, I want the, the best player on the field tomorrow. And I want to, to face their best players. And I, I want to play with our best players. But uh, accepting we have some players injured. But uh, we are ready to compete. Mike, on you go. Oh, yep. uh, hello, Mike. Compared to, say, a year ago, your squad looks deeper. Do you feel it is deeper and gives you more options now for a, a week where you've got three games very quickly <coughs> like this one? And was that the plan in the summer? <coughs> it depends, but uh, at the beginning, try to, to get the, the rules in summer, and of course, uh, we are starting to add two players more, like uh, Camara and Tyrone Minks. And with the players we have in the squad, I am very happy, and uh, uh, we are going to play a lot of matches, hopefully more and more than, than previous matches we, we have. And, uh, it depends each match, it depends uh, how we are getting the balance, uh, playing matches with minutes, with some players injured, with some players maybe tired. But we are at the beginning of the season, we are building the team. We are building the team, the plan is building the team with the players we have. And um, some players, uh, they are progressively feeling comfortable and understanding our tactical idea, our demands. Yeah. And it's a process, but uh, 
every players at the beginning they will have opportunities to play and, and moment to play. Um, I know, um, <laughs> you know, uh, listening to you last year going around Europe, I know you know football history very well, and I know you know why the history of this club matters so much to the fans who will be there tomorrow. Do you think modern players understand it in the same way? Do you think they get why, especially this game in 1982, matters here especially? We have players with experiences in Europe. Yeah. We have one. We have one of, of, of them. He played the, the final last year with Borussia Dortmund. And we have some players, winners, before in in other teams, uh, winning trophies. Yeah. And uh, for example, as well, uh, Pau Torres, he played the semi final three years ago in Liverpool in this competition. And the best experiences we can add to try to learn quick playing in Europe is the experiences we had last year in Conference League. And uh, it's a process. Of course, some of them, they are going to to debut tomorrow in, in Champions League. And it's a very good news for, for the club, for them, for me as well. I'm not playing the first time in Champions League, but mm, playing in a row, like I am playing 16 years in a row in, in Europe, for me, it's not changing my idea. And my idea is to have to compete in Champions League, we have to enjoy this way in Champions League, we have to try to set each match, uh, playing, uh, focusing this competition to, to try to get uh, a good way there. But the most important is be consistent in the season, and the Premier League is the first objective. And tomorrow we are playing a special, special match for everybody. But I am preparing the match the same like I prepare on Sunday against Ipswich. Dan, on you go. Do you feel under, under any pressure? Aston Villa don't lose to Bayern Munich. They have a very good record, unbeaten. Myself? No, no Aston Villa against Bayern Munich, they have a very good record because of 1982. They don't lose to them. Jack. Que el Aston Villa tenga tan buena, tan buena experiencia con el Bayern de Múnich desde aquella victoria nos han enfrentado y le ganado la final. Veis a Jock. Y si Aston was not playing uh, since 1982 against Bayern Múnich, es not good news. Es very bad news. But that is why the fans are so excited. It's because yes, yes, but you are asking me something uh, I don't understand, really. Okay. I don't understand. What does it mean? Yeah, because we are speaking here, we are very motivated because we are, we are coming back to Europe last year with, in Conference League, this year in Champions League. And of course, uh, yeah, Aston Villa was not playing against, against Bayern Munich 40 years ago. But it's not good, good news. It's, a, it's a very bad. I think uh, Europe is something uh, very, very important, but very, very difficult. And this is the, the challenge we have now. And of course, tomorrow they are favorite. They are very, very favorite than us. But uh, we are playing at home with our supporters. And even I played because I was understanding maybe for, for myself. I played two times against them and we compete before with, with the team. We, we, we were the coaches playing against them. But tomorrow I want to play and I to compete against them and I, I want to face them being competitive and showing our best tomorrow. But if uh, the result they, they aren't, it's because Aston Villa didn't play. What does it mean to you to be involved in the Champions League and taking on one of the best teams in the world? It's a, a challenge. For myself, it's a challenge. And I told yesterday the players, after the match we played on Sunday and during and between the match we are going to play on Sunday against Manchester United. We are playing in, in, uh, in England against the best team in the world and we are playing consistency and we are showing our capacity against them. Now we are going to face against one of the best teams in Europe as well. At the beginning against we played against uh, Young Boys, we, we are playing now against uh, Bayern Munich, we are, going to, uh, we are going to play against Bologna, we are going to play against Juventus, maybe Juventus and, and Bayern Munich, they are the two teams. 
in the level, the same level uh, they are here, Manchester United or Tottenham or Arsenal or Liverpool. But we are not playing against those teams in Europe consistency, and this is the objective. And how is my expectation? My expectation is to compete, facing them, being competitive, and really getting our best performances. And like that, how we can be with a possibility to get good results. Thank you. Good Thank you. Um, and I, uh, there's been a lot of focus on Diego Carlos and the mistakes towards the goal against Ipswich. You haven't had much time to work with the players, but you do anything in particular to him to cheer him up before such a big game against Bayern Munich? Of course, football is, is mistakes. And we had to accept when we are making mistakes. And starting for me, as a coach, every match I am trying to, to be humble to, un, to identify my mistakes. Uh, when I am analyzing tactically, when I am analyzing as well my decision during the match. And then is after my responsibility, of course, try to identify and to correct those mistakes each match, try to correct quickly and don't repeat it as much. And with the same, the player is the same, the same circumstances like uh, with me. I am trying to identify overall the mistake we are we are getting in each match, tactically with the team, and as well deeply when it's, uh, some mistakes coming from the individual players. But never punishing, uh, making mistakes the players uh, in the next, uh, for the next matches. And trying always to, to correct working through video working in the pitch with, with, uh, with the players, with the team. And uh, on, on Sunday, every, every mistake we made, uh, we were working yesterday morning. And of course, uh, I want to, to try to, to correct firstly practicing and secondly, hopefully tomorrow on the field. Hi, Matt. Just on Vincent's company. Uh, I think a few people were surprised when you went from Burnley being relegated into the Bayern Munich job. How do you rate him as a coach and do you think he's got you know, the potential to have a really good coaching career? Vincent mm. Company, uh, I knew him uh, last year here with Barley, but his career is very recognised career as a, as a player, as a professional in football. And as a coach, he started two years ago, two or three years ago. And uh, he worked uh, in Manchester City with Guardiola. And more or less, he's been successful so quick starting as a coach because with his experiences and with the experience working with, uh, with uh, Guardiola in Manchester City, I think everything I watched of him as a coach, in Barley now in, 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 in Bayern Munich, is really, really a huge work. Uh, I think he's a coach... He will have a very good future and he's starting to be successful, but not now, even with Barley when he promote. Last year was difficult because it's difficult with Barley uh, at the beginning forward to, 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 to relegate again. He didn't achieve it. He didn't achieve to, to, get, to, to keep the, the Premier League, but uh, I always respect him a lot as a coach because always the two matches we played, even winning, was very difficult matches. And I identified quick uh, his hand uh, with the team. And uh, with Bayern Munich, I think, uh, with the players they have, for him is more, more is easier to, to get uh, the level they, they, they will want to have in, uh, in their league and in Champions League. And uh, they started really winning matches with a very good result, playing very well. And tomorrow, uh, I know, it's a big challenge for us to try to stop them, be competitive, to adapt to their tactical idea, try to, to avoid the, their uh, tactical idea imposing us. And we have to try to, to be as well competitive, imposing our, our game plan. 
this is the 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 really uh, amazing work we have the coaches how we can uh, prepare how we can set uh, our our game plan in posting against the opponent but tomorrow uh, facing them more difficult yeah. uh, you know have you got any uh, up to date team news uh, with particular reference to Matty Cash is Matty uh, fit and available uh, Matty is starting training with us but for tomorrow is 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 not uh, is not time to to fit him to play uh, even one minute. He's not going to be available for tomorrow. And uh, another players, uh, Camara and Tyrone, they are training with us, but they are not going to play tomorrow. And other players at the beginning they are okay, but uh, we worked it yesterday morning. We are going to train now at five o'clock and hopefully uh, will will be available the players we are Matt, just on the uh, defense you know obviously you've just got the one clean sheet this season in the champions league at young is there anything in particular you when you look back at the games that you've identified as being the issue because obviously it's harder to win games when you're not keeping clean sheets yes yes definitely definitely we 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 are not uh, defending like like year and uh, uh, it's, it's not for the defense player, it's not for the goalkeeper, it's for everybody. My uh, first defender, they are the, the strikers. And my first uh, attacking players is the goalkeeper. And we have to, tr we have to work uh, improving and trying to correct quick uh, some mistakes we are, we, are, we are making. And the first year we have to, to get uh, strongly uh, our way improving because uh, we, we can't concede the goal we are conceding uh, each uh, each match we are playing and uh, I am positive and and of course I believe in in our work how we are doing but uh, if we want to to keep to be in the top level in the top level we are scoring goals but uh, we are conceding uh, more goals than normal okay. Harry Kane's start of the season on fire again, he's got 10 goals. What, what is it that, that he brings a danger to you and how do you play against them? How is it definitely stopping? We analyse, uh, firstly, the, the tactical idea collectively and then, of course, we have to try to stop their individual players. But uh, they have Harry Kane, of course, uh, he knows us and, and, and we know him. But uh, his capacity and potential is going to be tomorrow on the on the field, and we have to try to, to stop him. And, and then as as well, they have a very good structure tactically, in playing in combination. Even neither the goalkeeper is the, the first player playing in combination and trying to do superiority building up. They have two two strong strong central back, and uh, they have. Uh, uh, good midfielders, uh, they have good wingers, good striker. Of course, we, we have to try to to stop them collectively and then individually. And uh, there are going to be a lot of duels on the field, a lot of duels. And we have to be as well uh, alert, focused, and uh, beating them as well sometimes on the field. Uh, this is the way we want to win. Mm -hmm. I take it you would have watched the game against Leverkusen. Were you encouraged at how Leverkusen frustrated by him? By Leverkusen, they are playing very well, and I, I watched uh, this match, and, and it's something as well uh, as a guide for us how they played against them. They drew a good result. Uh, but of course, we have different players, we have different style, we have different structure tactically. And we, we, we want to, to try to adapt uh, the tactical idea and then impose us our idea. But uh, of course, some good we can have and I am using some, some clicks uh, to show the players uh, for the last matches they played. And one of them, one of those matches is, uh, is the match they played against Bayer Leverkusen. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.